Well, all week long, we are celebrating all things film and television in Georgia. Yeah, here's a cool fun fact for you. Georgia is basically now known as the Hollywood of the South, yes. largely thanks to former President Jimmy Carter. And joining us this morning, we have Dr. Meredith Evans with us. She is director of the Jimmy Carter Presidential Library and Museum. And we are so glad you've joined us here at Assembly. Thanks very much for coming out, Dr. Evans. So what was it? that attracted President Carter to the TV and movie business when he was governor back in the 70s? I mean, he just likes movies. He's that guy. <laughs> he still holds the record for watching the most movies in the White House. Um, and he had good friends. He had friends that were in the advertising business who knew a little bit about television. And so he's just intrigued. OK. So then he ended up establishing the Georgia Film Commission. He did. After Deliverance was, the book was written and the film was um, done, he was like, oh, this is something new. Yeah. And so Longest Yard was filmed here and he um, let them use the state prison. And that's when he really saw a bigger vision. And so he thought it was really important to have a commission to sort of not just woo people in, but organize it a little bit more. And that's what he did. You mentioned that, that the state allowed them to film at the state prison. I read that President Carter said that he would do anything that was legal and maybe even things that were <laughs> slightly illegal in order to bring business to Atlanta and to Georgia. I don't know if it was illegal or if it was just a little things um, out of the box. If you ever watched The Longest Yard, there were some things that I don't think Georgians were really fan of, you know, men dressing up as cheerleaders in the prison, things mm -hmm. like that. And he was willing to take risks because I think part of being, taking risks is being creative and bringing in new businesses and bringing in people from the outside to make the state even better than it already was. Yeah, okay. Well, we have 50 states, you know. Why did he think Georgia could be the spot for this? Because Georgia's beautiful, right? It has a lot of land, has a lot of properties, good good people, yeah. um, great, great schools. And so this was an opportunity to showcase um, a state that was overlooked in many ways and also to boost the economy. Uh, everything is useful for the economy, for the state. It benefits everybody in the end. He must be very proud of that part of his legacy yeah. as he's watched the state grow into the Hollywood of the South. Not only the Hollywood of the South, he got to meet Burt Reynolds, which is like his favorite <laughs> actor. Um, you know, I do think he's proud of it. I didn't think he knew how big it was going to grow at first. Um, we did an exhibit at the museum about the film industry here, and he was taken aback. And we honor him each time. The Film Commission is grateful, and it's a great opportunity for the state. All right. Well, Dr. Dr. Meredith Evans, Evans, thank you so much. Please yes. give President Carter and Rosalind our very best. We think about them all the time, and we appreciate you coming out and joining us today. Thank you. I'll do that. Yeah, so there were so many good nuggets, and if you missed any part of this, we will have this interview for you online at atlantanewsfirst.com. Thanks so much for joining us. We've got more news, weather, and traffic straight ahead. Don't go away.